All right, we're finding a coffee shop. Not far from where we're going to be going tomorrow. And tomorrow we're headed to this place up here, which is Watt the Duck. And there's our doggy. Hey, doggy. So we're going to be headed up there tomorrow morning. Find a good place to take a rest. Yeah, we'll be headed up there tomorrow morning when it's a little bit cooler. So for now, we're going to grab a coffee. <clears throat> Yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> That's a nice place. Nice telephone. Payphone. Here we found our, new, our next new place in Bun Khan. Yeah, next to the uh, Putok. Next to Putok. Like what Putok? Yeah. Oh, the fruit. Like a. Uh, uh, uh. These are all fruit trees. Yeah. It's just a farmhouse or something like that. So here's know? our place here the blue house. Yeah. The blue house with the key. Yes, the key is already there. It's our place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Keep walking in. Take you up a little bit. And you can see where we're going. We're right on the water. Let's see here. So this is where we're at. Yeah, this is nice. <clears throat> right on the lake here. We're paying four, five hundred baht a night for this place, which is about thirteen dollars a night US with the current exchange rate. It's thirty-seven baht to one dollar. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice place. And there's a lot to talk. We go in there later tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah, what a peaceful place, right on the water. So we'll be here for one or two nights, we'll see. Pretty peaceful place. Lots of fruit trees. It reminds me of our farm. It looks like we're the only ones staying here, so it should be pretty quiet. <clears throat> Hello everyone, so we got the day started early the next morning by getting to Wat Putak right around just a little bit after 6 in the morning. Officially the the park opens at 6.30 and we got there just a little bit early. We were the first ones there, which was nice. The uh, history of Wat Putak is kind of interesting. So it was built by a monk, I believe by the name of Ai Jarquan who really devoted his life to to building the temple and 
which functions, I believe, almost as a monastery in that it was and is still to this day maintained by the monks. So, pretty interesting, pretty amazing. Uh, mountainside temple and the grounds that are around the the temple are pretty pretty amazing it's like a park basically so we enjoyed walking around before we got up to the mountain temple at the foot of the mountain is a liam that was built by the king of thailand to commemorate the life and work of Ajahn. so if you have time either before or after you go up the mountain, it's definitely worth taking some time to to go through the mausoleum and take all that in. The stairways and walkways that lead up the mountain consist of seven levels, which are meant to represent the seven levels of Buddha's enlightenment. In fact, it's called by some the stairway to heaven. We went all the way up through the sixth, which is the most well known. The seventh is known by some to have venomous snakes and monkeys, so we stayed away from that. Also, keep an eye on the various dogs. We had one that was a helpful tour guide that went with us all the way up to the top of the mountain. The dog's gonna take us up. There's a big lizard. We won't, to a yeah, we won't get lost. We have our tour guide. Okay. Little doggy. He's saying, come this way. Come this way, please. He's checking everything for us. <laughs> Where she is. She is. Mm. Alright guys, we're at the bottom of Wat Putok. And we are going to be making our way up the mountain and going this way. So you can join us. Here we go. Look, this dog is going to take us all the way up. I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> wow. Sure. Good. Yeah, she can go downstairs. Better than I can. <laughs> yeah, probably more than we do. All right. We're on our way up, taking a little break. Guys, it's a long way up. Yeah. So pace yourself, come early in the morning when it's nice and cool, that's what we did. We got here right about six in the morning. Yeah. And it's a pretty steep staircase on the way up, so you can see behind me. Just goes all the way up. I think there are seven levels total. Six levels. Six total. levels. 
So there's six levels total to climb <clears throat> to get to the top of the mountain. And so this is Wat Putok uh, Temple. Started at, originally as a temple maintained by the monks. So kind of like a monastery, I guess. Yeah. The bottom is really nice. It's like a park, yeah. park-like grounds. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to the top. The temple. And go take a look. We noticed there's, there's a lot of dogs at the bottom of the of the of the mountain. So they got a lot of dogs to take care of the grounds. <clears throat> also heard that there's animals in the mountain. But doesn't that something make the noise? Yeah, I heard that there might be monkeys. And of course we're in the jungle, so there just always be careful with snakes, but yeah. We're out in nature. Lady. Yeah, look who's waiting for us. There's <laughs> okay. our tour guide. Okay, let's go. She's taking a break too. Okay, sweetie. She's almost asleep. Okay. Move it. Come on. She said you go ahead. You're too slow. <laughs> I'll catch up to you later. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Wow, she's strong. Never seen a dog climb stairs like that. Huh? Temple dog. She probably do it every day. She said she's gonna she not gonna go with that look like we have to go it ourselves. <coughs> All right, so we're on level four. Now this is starting to cut into the mountain. So we're making our way up. So we'll keep going up the mountain. If you're wondering how safe the way up is, the stairs are pretty sturdy. even though they creak and groan a little bit. Seems like it's pretty safe on the way up. All right, made it to the fifth level. And this is the, we have a Buddha. So we're gonna set to. So we take our shoes off and go set to. Look who's waiting for us. Yeah, our tour guide's waiting for us yeah. up there. <laughs> so we're just passing the fifth level, and it's mostly areas with shrines, Buddha, statues, so places to pay respect. Whoa! So this is the way to the sixth and final level we're going to go to. So the stairs are almost like... Uh-huh. Straight it's almost down. like a ladder. Okay, we have the... To a guy go in front already. Yeah, she's to going. Do. Come on, baby. Think you it's can a little do tricky it. even for her. Uh huh. Come on. Slow down. Don't fall down, okay? Yeah, watch yeah, your step. Yeah, she do. Okay. Now our turn. Okay. <laughs> So our tour guide is waiting for us. Yeah. Looking at something. I 
don't know, she's looking for something, but okay. It's a nice view from up here. Yeah, you should know. You should know. Just follow our tour guide. Yeah, it's a nice view. Look at that. Uh huh. Yeah, she's keeping all the animals away from us. There's another trail. Another trail to go down. Mm -hmm. You look real close in the distance as you get to the temple. Just below you can see a monkey jump down right around 1621. This looks like a viewpoint to another little temple. You can't get to it from here. Wow, look at that. Well, that's a view. This is nice view. Yeah, look at that view. Right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty safe. I wouldn't. I'd be a little careful on the guardrail. Yeah, I would. You don't go that slow, though. Wow, look at this. Look at this view. The it's in pretty good condition. I'd say the boards, some of them are a little soft, but it's in pretty good condition. It's, yeah, it's creaking and bending a little bit. <laughs> some of these boards. So scary. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too close to the side. Yeah, I'm close to the lock. <laughs> but I can get. For me, I'm far close to the lock more than I can get close, close to the wheel. With the camera, so you can see right over the edge. Yeah. For those of you that are watching the video. <laughs> yeah, there's not much of a breeze right now. Yeah. And I'll go to go to the lab and then I want to go to the Is that good, sweetie? There goes our tour guide. I didn't think she was going to come up here. Wow, she's fearless. She's fearless. She's not afraid. She must come up here with the monks. Look at that. There's a beehive up here. Wow. That thing is huge.
All right, we're going to be careful walking underneath the beehive. Do you see the beehive? I don't know where it's at. Look up. Huh? Look up. There? No, right here above me. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That's a huge beehive. It's gigantic. Can you see it above me? Wow. Oh, it's like right above me. Wow. Yeah. We're almost, we're almost at the end. I think. It's a good thing we got a tour guide. Yeah. Showing us the way. <clears throat> Actually, it's fine. As long as you don't look down. Huh? As long as you don't look down, it's fine. Yeah. If you look down, it's yeah. straight down. Let's say it is a lot better than before. Really? Yeah, really do it. Wow. I can't imagine what it was like before. Yeah, the park ranger from Trivial. The park ranger told me about they do all this. It's a lot better. They do, they do all the food. Yeah, it's a lot better than before. This part is nice. Now we're under a little bit of a roof cover. But there is still nothing underneath us. <laughs> you keep pointing down there? Yeah. Wow. There's nothing underneath us. It's scary to go over, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a pretty long fall. I don't think anybody can survive it. Mm -mm. For, for, for sure. Yeah. Oh, we still have quite a ways to go. Yeah. Still got a way. All the way around the mountain. Uh-huh. Wow, look at that tree. Why are they taking your guys so long? Yeah. She's getting tired of waiting for us. I'm tired of waiting for your guy already. Oh, yeah, she said. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing view. Too. I can't even tell where we came from. I have no idea. Let's be the other side. Yeah. You don't walk tiptoeing. Oh, you walk on the, your hill. Just kind of make everything. Yeah, you almost want to walk between the, the boards. But it's pretty safe. It's just a little bit. Dada? Okay, this part is a little bit scary. Why are you do that part? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this part is a little bit scary. There we go. I think just when you think about the fact that there's nothing under underneath you, this is what makes it scary. Okay. <laughs> That's better. That feels better. It's more stable. All right, here we go. I think this is the best part right here. Wow.
You have to kind of duck underneath the rock. <laughs> you have to go lower now. Be careful. It's a it's yeah, I bet it. I bet when it's wet, it's slippery. You wouldn't want to be up here during the rain. Yeah. Most people recommend this. If the rainy season, they can go waterfall too. But if have rainy season, I don't think you should come up here. No way. <laughs> I wouldn't come up here during the rainy season. Maybe like right, maybe right after the rainy season might be a good time. Yeah, maybe, huh? Maybe like uh, uh, October or, or November. Look at how. Boy, don't check Be careful it. with that thing. That's loose. <clears throat> yeah. Don't touch them for that. Just touch it. Yeah, we got a loose rail right there. Okay. Oh, now I understand why it's falling if I just slip up. I feel like I need to hug the. Huh? I feel like I need to hug the mountain. Uh huh. Walk it. Walk it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be on the side of the guardrail. Walk it. It's not safe. Don't want to get lost. Okay. Okay. We made it. We made it back to solid ground. Uh. We made it back to solid ground. Yeah. That was a nice walk. A little bit scary. Well, my walking and my leg shaking. <laughs> and the boards were shaking. I can't imagine what it was like when they first built this. That's crazy. Wow. <clears throat> Oh, okay. There's a little breeze on this side. Oh, it feels good on this side. A little breeze. You have a good tour guide. Okay, hold on, okay? We have to share. You cannot touch the bottle. She walked all the way up the mountain and around it with us. Okay, a little bit to be so wide, okay? Yeah, she's a good tour guide. Just a little bit, baby. I'll get some water too. Okay. Thank you. That wasn't bad. I see the hardest part was walking. Getting up to probably the the fourth level. Yeah. First, second, and fourth. Once we got up to the fifth, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. And now in the sixth, there's a nice breeze. So. Yeah, and we can walk around. Nice. I'd say it's worth it. <clears throat> but I'd say make sure that you're at least in decent health because that climb up to the fourth level was pretty tough. But we thought we were done, but there's a whole other <laughs> side that comes around. Now we're down on the fifth oh, level. Fifth. Oh. And it's I guess it's coming around back to the front. Mm -hmm. so we're on another one of these catwalks. It walks with the electrical cable. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but this, this is pretty easy compared it's to easier than level six. Level six. Yeah, because it's a platform this that's one is platform like a <laughs> You know, oh, yeah, there's something like this. Outside. Wow, that's a nice view. Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> wow, 
Watch your head. The electrical cable dangling in front of us. Yeah, that's quite a view. That's pretty. Yeah. All right, looks like we're almost back to the front. And you can see the pagoda. So that's the museum. That's at the center of the park grounds. We're going to walk down that way. Yeah, there's a little bit more breeze now than when we started. Looks like we were just up there not too long ago. That's the sixth level. Make our way back. It works your head for some falling rocks. Oh yeah, nice breeze. Yeah, that's nice. That's a pretty way we walk up, I think. So this is how we walked up? Yeah, I like it so much. Yeah, it's nice. Nice view. Mm -hmm. Nice breeze too. Now we're going down the other way. And this is more the sandstone steps. It's pretty. So this is the way that we came up, the wooden steps, okay. and this is the way that we're coming down from the rock, yeah, the sandstone steps. Nice either way, yeah. either way is pretty nice. Yeah. So we ended up going to the left from level four, and that led us to level five and the different shrines. I'm happy with the baby ticket. And then we came down from level six. Ooh, we made it back down. That's a pretty good hike up and down. Yeah. My legs are kind of shaky right now. Two hours. Yeah, it was about, about exactly two hours round trip. Yeah. So plan for two hours if you're coming here. Uh -huh. And we would recommend coming in the morning when it's nice and cool. Yeah, come early, nicer. Yeah, we got here at six and yeah. they were open. And if you're lucky like us, you'll have a, a tour guide to take you, <laughs> to take you like the, uh, the dog that we had. Yeah, but she leave us though. Yeah, she left us and that. She left us is. Took somebody else for a tour. Yeah, she left us and the uh, four four I think. <laughs> yeah. Level five I think yeah level five. She's a good tour guide. Yeah. Sure. Can we take a seat? See what they have. We have noodles. We got noodles. Yeah. We got fish. We got mupin. We got noodles. Okay. 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 Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay
I don't think I want to do anything up my I'm gonna eat just like this. You are? Let me, I'll taste it and see. Huh? I'm gonna taste it and see how it is. Yeah, it's good. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, I like it good. The stuff is very tasty. It is pretty good. Mmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some a little bit of sour. Okay. Maybe a little more. And a little bit of peak. Peak the man. Show the case. Alright, so now that I'm pressing coffee out. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vinegar helps. And that. All right, that concludes our travels to Wat Patak in Boom Khan. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.